I'm philosophy professor and podcaster Ellie Anderson, and I'm here to share a few ideas for gifts for the philosophy student in your life. First up is Stuart Jeffrey's Grand Hotel Abyss, which is a group biography of the Frankfurt School, a group of 20th century Marxist and mostly Jewish philosophers who have just fascinating life stories and incredible critiques of capitalism and contemporary culture. This book is really well written, a ton of fun, and like super, super interesting. Also pretty good on the actual philosophies of the people involved. Second up is a new book this year by Sky Cleary called How to Be Authentic. Cleary is an expert in the work of Simone de Beauvoir, and this book is a really interesting um, read, whether or not you're interested particularly in Simone de Beauvoir's philosophy about thinking about the nature of authenticity today um, in the sort of societal conditions that we live in um, and what it means to be free and authentic in this messed up society. Third is also a new book by Travis Holloway called How to Live at the End of the World. This is a really great read for the person who is uh, interested in environmental thought or like concerned about environmental collapse, which hopefully is everybody. Holloway is also a poet. And so this volume is a really nice slim one because there's so much packed in thanks to the succinctness of Holloway's prose, which is just really beautiful. Fourth is a member of the Frankfurt School actually, Teodora Adorno's book, Minima Moralia. This book is a series of aphorisms. So it's like short kind of paragraph long reflections um, on culture, on ethics, on a, all sorts of different areas of philosophy. It's fantastic. Adorno is obviously a really great thinker. Um, and this one is, is just something I would really recommend to anyone. And finally is Elite Capture by Olufemi Taiwo, also a new book. Um, Taiwo came out with two books in the same year. We also interview him on the podcast if you're interested. He's really been getting a lot of amazing press recently. And uh, this book is basically how elites end up capturing leftist political movements and um, sort of changing the meaning of identity politics in ways that are uh, just going to serve the powers that be and some reflections on how we might avoid that. There are obviously a million books that I could include here, but these are just a few ideas for the philosophy student in your life who's looking for something to read that is exciting, theoretically well-grounded, and compellingly written.